1858, a young Indian woman from the Nambudiri caste, the highest caste of the Hindu priesthood, visited with some uh, European missionaries who had established a mission compound in her village. When the rest of her high Hindu caste family learned about her interest in Christianity, they rebuked her and threatened her and warned her not to visit those missionaries anymore. The next day, as soon as her brothers left for work, she went and told the missionaries that she could no longer come. But while she was there, news arrived that a cholera epidemic was spreading rapidly throughout the village, which meant that everyone was ordered to, get this, quarantine. And so much to her family's displeasure, she remained there for several weeks, asked all of her questions about Christ and Christianity, and placed her trust in Jesus for salvation. Church, can the Lord use quarantines for his glory? Oh, wait till you see. Upon returning to her family, she was immediately outcast. Her parents would no longer help her find a husband. No one would want her as a wife. But it didn't matter. Her citizenship was now in heaven. Her husband was now Christ. Her name was written down in heaven. In fact, she took on a new last name, the last name of Zacharias. Perhaps uh, she believed at the time and others, even though others believed her to have no future, that she, like Zechariah of old, who was the father of John the Baptist, would give birth to one in her ancestry who would go on to be a great prophet and truth teller for God and courageously point many to Jesus. Well, that young woman from 1858 is the great, great, great grandmother of Ravi Zacharias, who has pointed so many to Jesus. And even as he is now home with the Lord, in his life, he credited his great, great, great grandmother for having the courage to embrace a new citizenship in heaven that was so contrary to her upbringing, so contrary to her thinking, so contrary to her way of life, and learned to live in the way of the cross of Christ. In church, you just never know what is hanging in the balance of your determination to give your highest allegiance to Jesus every day. You just never know how many generations after you could be impacted by your allegiance to Jesus Christ today. And so let me ask you, what allegiances are you too loyal to instead of Christ? And what desires are you too hungry for instead of Christ? And what examples are you too influenced by instead of Christ? And let's walk in the way of the cross of Christ in this season together as citizens of his kingdom, members of his family, and those looking forward to all that he has yet prepared for us. Let's follow him no matter what. God bless you.